हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम विथ यू विथ वन मोर वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट एज वेल एज अ बेसिक कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम द अल्जेब्रा दैट इज अ फैक्ट्रेशन ऑफ कॉलम आइल्स बाय स्प्लिटिंग स्प्लिटिंग द मिडल टर्म स्पेशली फैक्ट्रेशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक कॉलम आइल्स ओके सो इट्स अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड बेसिक कंसेप्ट विच इज वेरी यूजफुल इन द हायर स्टडीज ऑल्सो इवन आफ्टर टेंथ यू कैन I have the importance of this. <coughs> we will use this concept in the 11th standard, 12th standard, as well as for any other technical field also in mathematics. So let's see what it is. So I'll uh, factorizing a quadratic polynomial. Uh, generally, we have two cases in quadratic polynomials. Depending on the sign of the constant term, we know the quadratic polynomial. The quadratic polynomial will be in the form of A x square plus b x plus c, right? So in that a x square plus b x plus c, a b c are the a will a and b will be the coefficient of x square and x, and c will be the constant term, right? So here we have I have divided it in two different uh, two types of the quadratic polynomial. The first case I have discussed here concerned is if the constant term is positive, right? So what will happen or how to factorize if the constant term c is positive it is very simple just see one example from this exercise from the standard i think 9th so the question given is factorize 6x square plus 17x plus 5 by splitting the middle term so here 6x square plus 17x plus 5 17x is a middle term we have to split this middle term by factorizing the constant term here so here also you will know we will come to know that the coefficient of x square here a which is equal to 6 is not equal to 1 in the case if six, uh, this uh, coefficient of x square is 1 we need to factorize only the constant term c as it is but in the case when c this a is not equal to 1 other than 1 then first we need to take the product of this a as well as c take the product of a and c that will gives us the product of a and c as 6 into 5 which is equal to 13 so see here we are given a quadratic polynomial 6x square plus 17x plus 5 right 5 is a constant term that we have the values of a b c as a is 6 b is 17 and c is 5 so c is 5 and which is positive here so so since a is 6 b is 17 c is 5 now <coughs> we have the product of a and c what are the product of a and c it is 6 into 5 equal to 30 so whatever the product of a and c we have first we need to write all the possible factor of that product of a and c if a is not equal to 1 so or if a equal to 1 we just need to factorize this constant term c only right so here a is 6 which is not equal to 1 we have the product of 6 and 5 as 30 so all possible factors of 30 are 30 into 1 then take its half 15 it is the half of 30 is 15 so 15 twos are 30 then next will be 10 into 3 and then 6 into 5 that is 30 ones are 30 15 twos are 30 10 3s are 30 and 6 fives are 30 others you may also have they are 5 into 6 3 into 10 2 into 15 and 1 into 30 they are same they are repeating factors so among these factors i have to choose any one of them and any one of them will be only correct factor satisfying this quadratic polynomial satisfying the condition of splitting the middle term now what is that rule which is to be selected among these four uh, factors pair of the factors is since the constant term is positive as here we have taken the case that constant term is positive in the case when the constant term is positive i have to check the sum of the pairs of these factors it should be equal to the middle term coefficient of middle term that is 17 that is equal to b right so can you say which of them so which pair has its sum which which pair has its addition equal to 17 so here if you see 30 plus 1 is not equal to 17 6 plus 5 is not equal to 17 10 plus 3 is also not equal to 17 but 
the sum of 59 to is 17 so i have to choose only this one this will be the perfect factors of 30 here for this example so since the product is positive we have to give uh, the sign for both of them will be will remain same as positive only so if you see here the middle term is 17 x and that can be splitted using these two factors 15 and 7 as 15 x plus 2 x right so now i have splitted the middle term of this quadratic polynomial 6 x square plus 17 x plus 5 as 6 x square the first and last term remain as their middle term is splitted as 15 x plus 2 x plus 5 remain as it is now i have to take some common from the first two terms and the last two terms because we have four terms taken some common if it is there and from the first two term and last two terms so if you observe obviously x is common from both and among the coefficients 6 and 15 if you see 3 can be taken common because 6 and 15 they are in the multiple of 3 3 2s are 6 and 3 5s are 15 so we can take 3x common from these two terms so what we left here we have 3 2s are 6x and 1x left and 15 among from 15 if you take 3 common is 3 5s are 15 so 5 will be remain common in the bracket so we have 3x times 2x plus 5 now what about the remaining two terms 2x plus 5 is there anything common we observe that x is not there with this last term x so x cannot be taken common and among 2 and 5 there are again the prime numbers 2 and 5 both are prime so there is no common between them other than 1 so nothing is common means we can take 1 as common and what is the sign since both are positive I have to take plus 1 common so taking plus 1 common will have 2x plus 5 as the common factor form so after taking 2 one common from them it will be 2x plus 5 will left in the bracket so if you observe whatever the common factor we are getting from the first two term is same from the second two last two terms also 2x plus 5 so that is 2x plus 5 is common among these two taken written first as it is and the second factor we have is the remaining terms here we left with 3x and here we left with plus 1 so i got the second factor as 3x plus 1 right so hence we can say that the factors of the quadratic polynomial using the split, uh, mid, uh, splitting the middle term they are 2x plus 5 and 3x plus 1. So it is the example in the case when the constant term c is positive. Okay. Now we will see the second case. The second case is if the constant term c is negative. What will happen in that case? Let us see the case 2 if constant term is negative so for that i have considered one more example from the same exercise from the standard 9th standard it is given that factorize the quadratic polynomial using again splitting the middle term so quadratic polynomial given is 3x square minus x minus 4 so comparing this one with the general for standard form of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c we have a is equal to 3 which is again not equal to 1 quotient of x that is b is minus 1 and the constant term is minus 4 so if you observe this constant term c is minus 4 means we can say c is negative here if the constant term c is negative so how to factorize how to get the factors of such quadratic polynomial in which the constant term is negative so again since a is not equal to 1 other than 1 first we take the product of this a with c that is a into c which is 3 into minus 4 which is equal to minus 12 <coughs> now again as we have seen in the first case uh, we have factorized that constant the product of a and c so here we are getting the product of a and c as minus 12 first i have to write all possible factors of 12 so what are the possible factors of 12 they are 12 ones are 12, 6 twos are 12 and 3 fours are 12. Again you may also say that 4 threes are 12, 2 six are 12. So they are same. You no, no need to write again 2 into 6 and 4 into 3. So you have to write it only once. So among these again as we have seen in the previous case if we have 2 or more than 2 pairs of the factors we have to choose any one of them. So again how to choose. 
so that part is very important in both of these two cases as in the previous case we have seen we have chosen that pair of factors whose sum equal to the coefficient uh, of middle term that is coefficient of x that is equal to b so here uh, we have to check or we have to cho choose that pair of factor whose difference is equal to the coefficient of middle term that is coefficient of x that is minus 1 here the coefficient of x is minus 1 here b is equal to minus 1 so what is whose which pair has the difference equal to minus 1 if you observe 12 minus 1 is not equal to 1 6 minus 2 is not equal to 1 but 3 minus 4 or 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 right so four, if you take 4 minus 3 it will be 1 plus 1 3 minus 4 is minus 1 so if you observe b is equal to minus 1 so since b is equal to minus 1 we can use this one that is 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1 so this sign of 3 and 4 is also very important we have to split the middle term minus x using 3 and minus 4 see here 3x square minus x minus 4 is written in this way that is 3x square and minus 4 first and last term kept as they are and we have split the middle term this minus x is expressed using these two factors 3 and minus 4 as 3x square plus 3x minus 4x minus 4 right so again as in the seen in the previous case we have to take common factors common from first two and last two terms from the first two if you observe 3 is all common and x is also common so 3x will taken common and we left with x plus 1 3x is 3x is taken common here we left only x and here the whole term 3x is taken outside common so we left with only 1 so while taking the common anything when we take anything common from the two or more than two terms whatever we left inside the bracket that will be obtained by dividing these two terms by the term whatever we have taken means 3x square upon 3x is x 3x upon 3x is 1 so that is the way to get the term inside the bracket when taking common something from two or more than two terms similarly here in the last two term we have minus 4x minus 4 so again you come to know that minus 4 is common among these two from these two okay because x is not there here so i have to take only minus 4 common so again taking taking minus 4 common so we left with the terms inside the bracket they are obtained by dividing these two terms by minus 4 so minus 4x upon minus 4 will be x only minus 4 upon minus 4 will be plus 1 because both are negative minus gets cancelled we left with only plus 1 so we got x plus 1 as a common factor again so return it as it is and the second factor we will obtain is taken these two other terms in one bracket that is 3x minus 4 so what we have the factor of this 3x square minus x minus 4 is equal to x plus 1 3x minus 4 so these are the factors of the quadratic polynomial in which the constant term is negative so this concept is very 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 important it is a basic concept that you have already studied before these classes or that is 9th and 10th you have studied so even then you are having some difficulties to factorize a quadratic polynomial i come to know very many of the students in the 10th standard or in higher standard also they are unable to factorize such quadratic polynomial because of some uh, difficulties in understanding the concepts so you can go through both of these two cases while factoring the uh, factoring the quadratic polynomial and practice for some different examples also